Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I got a pretty cool little light here, alright? This is, yeah, it's a little expensive. Anywhere between 50 to 70 bucks, depending on who you buy it from. But I really like it. I mean, it's very impressive. It has a couple of different features to it. It has a nice, sleek, slim, kind of like, um, elegant design for it. Uh, it's LED, it's touch panel, like all you gotta do is touch it, see? And it has different light modes to it, isn't that cool? I like it, it's great. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it, we're gonna talk about it, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and let's do it, roll the intro. Real quick, look, see I got the screen to come up on the uh, on the wall PC, isn't that awesome? Um, I, earlier I couldn't get the screen to come up and what it was, whoa, what it was yelling at me for was it wanted a keyboard and mouse so I brought out my wireless keyboard and mouse because I don't want wires everywhere as you can see, you know, the only wires you see are coming out over there and stuff. But uh, I want to get the keyboard and stuff hooked up so I can go ahead and get into the BIOS and tell it what boot medium to go from and so I can disable the CPU fan header. But that's for a different video. I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Back to this. So this is the Brooklyn LED Task Light AC. It's by Lux LED Lighting. Very cool. 600 Lumis. 50,000 hours of illumination. A 3000K color temperance. Alright. Very, very efficient, guys. 45 LM watts. Universal outlets to USB charging point. Port point. Points. Ports to. So I actually got two of them. This is uh, just one of them that I wanted to look at. But we're gonna do an open box as well. And I guess I'll use this one to uh, light up the situation. Make sure to leave a like on my video, guys. If you're new, please subscribe, help me out. Share my videos on Facebook. Share it to strangers. Remember, they're only strangers once. After that, you know them. <laughs> so you open it up and you're met by this this is cool it says hello from California has an aluminum body universal power outlets in the back oh I didn't even notice that that's right it does it has universal power outlets so that means it'll take any damn thing uh, a device holder so you can set your phone up on it that's cool three bright levels USB port uh, it has a 10 foot power cord now the power cord, which I'll just set that over there. The power cord to this thing is pretty beefy. I mean, look how thick it is. And it's, you know, it's 10 feet long. Uh, so I was really impressed with that. I was like, damn, like, that's a thick power cord and stuff. And then they were talking about the universal ports on the back. Here, let me, uh, let's see here. I got another light over here. Oh, of course, it's, uh, it's plugged into nothing as universal meaning it will take like a European plug a, a plug from like Taiwan a plug from Japan plug from Germany even the US plug the US plug would just fit right in between those two slats and stuff which that's a nice feature man because like you could carry this with you you could carry this with you and it would be a light it would charge your cell phone and you could plug whatever you want now I wouldn't plug like a toaster or a microwave into it, but maybe like a newer TV or something, something that wouldn't cost so much juice, you know what I'm saying? And it is, it's made out of aluminum. Nice, nice. Okay, so let's continue with the opening the box of it. Alright, let's see if I can't. There we go. What we got, what we got? So we got a manual that's cool see how I was saying earlier that you could put your cell phone on it that's how it goes it just sits like that it doesn't charge the phone when it's sitting like that but you can just kind of set the phone right there on that sleeve 
and that little lip right there will hold it. Here, let me grab my uh, spare phone and I'll show you. So like I was saying, it says it, it could hold your phone. And yes, it does. It holds my phone quite nicely. That's That'd be cool too because, you know, it gives you a place to put your phone. And if you're reading or doing something, you got your phone right in front of you. So that way if a text or a phone or something comes across, you'll be notified. Uh, that would be cool though if they put like a wireless charger in the back of this thing or maybe somewhere in here that would be cool but it has USB ports all over the place for you so yeah your phone sits like that okay so there's not really too terribly much in the box um, I do like how they have that like carved out as their name Lux that's cool here's their big power huge power cord with uh, that's nice <laughs> comes with the cover very cool it's in a, a plastic sheath, what it looks to be. Alright, like that. Let's see here. Let me back up from it a little so I can pull the plastic off. There we go. Alright, let's take a look at underneath the LEDs. So it's just a white panel. It's really thin. It's very lightweight. Very lightweight. Uh, let's take a look at the, the USB ports on it. Let's see here. What's that? What is that? Remove tab. Why? Oh, it's ooh, it's really sticky. Oh, so you could remove that and stick it to your desk and it will not go nowhere, man. That is some really sticky stuff. So, yeah, you can remove that. I mean, look, I'm going to put my finger to it. Uh, see what I'm saying? That was pretty sticky. Uh, looks like there's a USB port right here on this side. It's black, so I'm assuming it's USB 2.0. If it was 3.0, it'd probably be blue. Um, and here's one on that side. So that's good. So no matter if you have it facing this way on your desk or facing that way on your desk, you have access to a USB port. And I just noticed that it has like a grip stuff to it. So if you have like a wooden desk, you remove that and you stick it to your desk. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to go nowhere. That That's that's for damn sure. So I'm going to go ahead and just completely remove it out of the box, and then I'm going to set it up on my desk, and we're going to take a look at it from that way. So the USB ports are 5-volt, uh, 2-amp um, USB 2.0 ports. So I just went ahead and looked at the, uh, the manual for it and stuff. Um, I mentioned that this is a dimmer switch, so you and it's real light, too. You can just you barely touch it. And I like that feature. That that's a nice feature to have. Just rub your finger over it, and it works great. There's, see, love that. That's awesome. Hold your phone. And I'm kind of impressed about that sticky part on the other side. That's kind of cool. And I do like the look of it. See, my idea was to just kind of do something like this real quick. Here, I'll just kind of show you what I was thinking about. Like, have it set up like this, and then put one light like that and then put the other light like let's see here kind of like yeah like that kind of have one light like that and one light like that and the good part is is that if I want them out of the way they're really flat so see I can move it and it can be completely out of the way um, flat against the wall which is I like that see that Look, see, it just moves right against the wall, so that way you can have two of them. Now, this one ain't very bright, is it? Let's, let's turn it up all the way. Wow, the one on the left definitely seems to be brighter than the one on the right. For sure. They're both brand new. Just got them out of the box and everything. So, I don't know why one would be brighter than the other, but, you know, whatever. The, but they look cool, and they're not like big and bulky like some of my other lamps are. Um, kind of like that one down there. I mean, it's big and bulky and the other ones that I got have big bases kind of like the old uh, You know, uh, what's it called? Pixart, you know the Pixart lamp that always be bouncing on the ball on the beach ball That style kind of lamp, you know, they got a big base and a big head um, those, you know, you put two or three of those on your desk and it, and it fills up your desk. So, I definitely like the Lux LED light. Um, it's a nice feature light. They're a little expensive though, so you got to be kind of careful on that. The Brooklyn LED Task Light AC. 
by Lux Lighting. All right. Now, what if I was to put them like side by side? So let's say if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to work on something in front of me, like all oh, the power cords pulling it, like that. Okay, so like that. You see, you could have the item in front of you here, and then you could take your tools, work on it, and both lights will shine down on it. Um, I think that's probably how I'll actually run it. So we're going to use our new uh, Brooklyn Lux um, LED lighting, universal lighters. Uh, these are really nice. I actually did a video on these, so y'all need to check that video out. Um, but we're going to use that to light up our area nice and well. It looks like it just takes, like I was saying, it leaves a real small footprint. And then like, you know, if you don't want them to move, you can remove that, that tape stuff underneath. And those things will not move at all. Um, I took it off earlier and put it on the wood here. Uh, I almost wish I didn't do that because the damn thing almost did not want to come off. So I was like, oh, yeah, no, nope, we're not going to do that. So I put it back. But I hope you guys like it. I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty cool looking. Um, just a quick reminder, guys, here in a couple of about another week or so, I am headed to Atlanta, Georgia for a week with my wife on vacation. And we plan on visiting Micro Center. A huge computer store um, I actually did a video on it a year ago if you want to go in my videos and and look back to some of my older ones when I went to Micro Center last year and check them out new videos coming up uh, that's going to be a lot of fun when we go to Georgia a lot of filming um, I have a new chassis that we're looking at we're going to do a wall version 2.0 build that's going to be coming here real soon so Get subscribed so you guys don't miss that. Um, I got a little bit of cleaning to do. Uh, check these out. These things right here. I'm going to turn these into targets for my pellet gun. I thought that would be kind of cool. Um, but anyway, I'm getting off subject here. Um, I need to get this keyboard hooked up um, to this. And then I got an external hard drive that I want to hook to it as well. That's a one terabyte hard drive. Um, it has a lot of my old footage and content on it that I want to take off and stuff. Uh, we need to run a uh, internet cable. Also, I thought this was a DDR4 Platinum. No, it's a DDR3 Platinum. That's why I couldn't go with RGB RAM. I had to go with regular RAM. But I do have the kits that go over them and light them up. Um, I'll get around to that, but I got to get some of the little issues uh, kind of figured out and stuff. And that's kind of what landed me on the lights was I was like, oh, I should talk about these lights they're really nice so i hope you guys like it i'm done talking make sure to subscribe leave a like all that good stuff y'all know me i got tons of computer stuff but we got upcoming videos coming up we're going to get back on track and start doing more computer stuff more electronic stuff i know that's what you guys like that's why you join the channel and stuff so all right i'm getting out of here nice look at the garage make sure to leave me a like subscribe Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys liked it. Leave a comment below. Bye, y'all.